You? Is anybody? There's Molly, folks. That means your friends, the Goldbergs, are here. Yes, it's the Does program. Does, you know, is the new kind of soap for everything in your wash. Now let's visit the Dozum house. Well, there's young Dickie Dozum in the kitchen wiping dishes for Ma. He's saying, Gee, Mom, you should have heard Daisy and her fella Donald last night doing the dishes. Were you eavesdropping? No, I wanted something in the kitchen, that's all. They were pretending to talk about does. What's wrong with that, Dickie? Nothing, but Daisy said, Here, Donald, is that divine does. It's that new kind of soap for everything in our wash, and it has everything for dishes, too. That's what she said. She's right, Dickie. Does make suds that stand up till the last dish is done. Cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to my hands. But, gee, Ma, Donald thinks he's Clark Gable. He says to Daisy, We'll does all our dishes, Dream Cake. You and me and those does suds will stand up together through every last dish. Then Daisy said, And, Donald, with does, we don't have to keep adding soap so we can take time out for kisses. That's real cute. Don't my eye. Then Daisy says, I won't mind the greasy pans because does zip through grease in less than half a minute. That's true. There's no hard scouring. Well, guess what, Ma? What? The big goon held Daisy's hands and said, Your hands are so smooth, dream cake. That's does, Dickie. It's kinder to hands. Sure, but Donald ought to be a caveman and say, Come on, woman, give these dishes their daily dozen. Well, caveman or Romeo, I want to say Ma's right about does for dishes. It's the only leading granulated wash day soap that gives you all this. Makes suds that stand up till the last dish is done, cuts grease like 60, yet it's kinder to your hands. So try does, D-U-Z. It has everything for dishes. And now the Goldbergs. Well, every day we're beginning to see a little more clearly the nature of the blessing that has descended on the Goldbergs. Molly and Jake were ecstatically happy when Grace arrived for a visit because Grace is Sammy's new wife and someone to take his place while Sammy is abroad. Rosie is the only member of the family who doesn't like Grace, and Rosie is suspicious. She's tried to put two and two together, and she suspects that Grace has some connection with George, a new farmhand from her hometown. Of course, they deny knowing each other, but we know that Rosie is on the right track. That not only are they acquainted, but they're hatching up some plan. Both Grace and George seem to be very interested in the Goldbergs' financial condition. The other day, Molly surprised Rosie with the news that she and Jake had put aside a policy for her to cover her college expenses. And Grace seems very interested in this little nest egg. Listen. But, Mama, dear, we have to ask you so many questions. All right, darling. I know it's I know, darling, it's questions and questions and questions. Ask Papa, yes, darling? A ask Papa the questions and the answers for a minute. Yes, All dear, right, please. Ma. Papa will know the answers and Papa will know the questions. Please, dear. Oh, Rosalie says so, so busy filling out her application for, for the college. I don't blame her. Ma, where were you born and when? What, darling? Where were you born and when? Where I was born and when? I told you already, darling. You, you wrote it. I, you wrote it. You got it? Oh, yes, I have it, Ma. Have it? Thank you, darling. Wait, Grace, dear, please. The part I won't let you do. Just dear. this one. No. Please. No. No, darling. I wouldn't let you spoil yourself with the pots now. Thank you. For what? For the kiss? Yes, and I must thank you, too. You kissed me. You're so good and kind. Uh, it's not hard to be good and kind when you love somebody. It's like loving yourself. Ma? Yeah. I graduated from. I'm, I'm coming in a minute. Well, what school did I graduate from? <laughs> I didn't, Grace. I didn't. I went to night school. Mama? It, just a minute. Just a minute. I went to... Uh, you, you don't know, Rosalie. I went up to 2B2 two two in the night school. And, uh, and the school was number one, 149. And uh, Miss Halicorn uh, was my teacher. And Mr. McLaughlin was my principal. Oh? Mr. McLaughlin, M.C. M.C.L. Lachlan. Lachlan. Uh, write it down, darling. I didn't graduate. 
Oh, I let my children graduate from here, Daddy. Uh, what are you looking for, Grace, darling? A dry towel for the glasses. I I'll get it, What yet. was your mother's name, Ma? Dinah. That's a pretty name. Yes, she was a pretty person. Very pretty person. You, you feel better, Grace, darling, huh? I mean, you're not so upset. I mean, about the telephone call that you was uh, conversing, and, and then you was crying. I mean, uh, if you feel a little more comfortable, maybe you would tell us what. Mom, or... I need your signature. Oh, if my signature too, you need. Uh, coming. Excuse me, darling. S excuse me. Such a to-do with the college. I'm sorry already. I told Rosalie about the policy with the money in the policy. <laughs> what a signature now. This isn't going to be very hard. Not very, no. Not very. I've got to see George, and we have to make a good story. It's got to be good. Something for her to be kind and loving about. Something for her to believe in. Oh, I've never seen so many dirty dishes in my life. George talks about the trouble of plowing for Marsha. But things will be easier if we can get that 2,000. They've got the policy. No use wasting it on that kid in college. She could go to a free one. Two thousand. That's more than I thought we'd get. Oh, it'll do us fine. All this washing and smiling and pretending to like it. Sandy'd certainly get a laugh out of this if he could see me here. If he didn't know what was cooking. He'll be plenty surprised. And so will they. See George. Got to have a real plan and fast. Not many more dishes now. Not many. Money. That's the thing. The money. Just the money, and we could blow. Uh, all right, darling. All right. Oh, Grace, darling. Grace, dear. You, you should see the questions. You should see the questions on the application. Where was you born? Who was your father? Who was your mother? What school? How long? How short? Oh, my, 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 my. A whole life comes back to you with such questions and such answers. Somebody asks you, how old are you? And you say, uh, so and so and so many years. And the years are just like numbers. 10, 15, 20. But those years, Grace, darling, they weren't numbers. They were a happiness, a sorrow. They were friends. They were hopes. They were struggles. They were years lived, not years counted. Oh, in life, how easy to forget you. How hard and wonderful and beautiful to live. You, uh, you had a wonderful father, Grace. Too wonderful to make much of a success in this world, Mother. Success? You're his success. He died young. So did my mother. So you're all alone? No relatives? Molly. Yes, darling? Molly, where did you run? I didn't run, darling. I you didn't. You have to answer a few more questions. A few more? Yeah, I didn't answer everything yet. No. <laughs> Mom, I think that this is a better plan. Uh, let oh, yes. me see. Uh, uh, Grace, darling, please sit down for please, one minute. Mother. B one minute. O only wipe what you're wiping, and that's all. Let me see now. Uh, what, what more do I have to answer? Let me see. I don't remember everything, Rosalie. You don't remember, but I remember. Pa, how do you intend to, to pay the tuition? What do you mean? All at once, or by term, or quarterly. Why should I pay half a quarterly? Well, why should I pay half a quarterly? We, we have the money. Let us pay it all. Uh, I, I like to pay for, uh, for the whole three years. It'll only take one year at a time, Ma. But the money's for that purpose. Let it be annually. All right, let it be annually, all right, let it be annually. So when do we have to send the check with the application? Oh, I don't think so. I have to be accepted first, Ma. Oh, I oh, have to be accepted, and, and then I have to cash the policy. Rosalie has to sign it, nobody else. <laughs> nobody else can sign it. What else must I answer, Rosalie? You, you have to sign here, Ma. Oh, here. I have to sign here. Where do I have to sign? Wait, let Mama sign wait, it first, Wait, Ma. let Mama sign first, let me sign. Wait, I'll wipe my hands. Oh, let me sign first. Oh, Jake, darling. Jake, darling, count the years that we hoped for this moment. Where do I sign up? Show me. Here, Ma. Yeah. You're crazy. 
crying, Ma. You're a very lucky girl, Rosie. I know it. Oh, you can't know it. You just understand it. You know that some things are good, and when you get them, you think of yourself as lucky. But you really don't know what they mean. I mean the way your father does or your mother. You've grown up the easy way. Well, my Rosalie was a wonderful child, and, and she deserves it. All children deserve the best, but they all don't get it. Oh, didn't you? No, Rosalie. Grace didn't. Grace was, was a motherless child and a fatherless child. I'm not anymore. Well, well, if you're not anymore, darling, and you think that we are your parents, then tell us. Tell us what perturbed you and what that telephone call was that made you cry. Tell us, Grace, darling. We're your family. You're my new family. And I haven't earned the right to bring you my sorrows until I've given you some of the happiness and joy which your own children have brought you. I wouldn't want you to know about my life, not yet. Not until the day comes when you can look at me the way you look at Rosie and say, this is also my daughter. And Grace artfully flings down another trap for the Goldbergs. A gloomy, clever little break in Rosie's happiness. And the Goldbergs stand dismayed, almost ashamed of having been happy in front of their daughter-in-law. You know, a friend of mine heard the Goldbergs for the first time last week. You see, he's started working on the night shift, so he listens daytimes now. And boy, he says, Molly Goldberg's swell. And that does them families okay, too. Especially Dickie does them. What a boy. You know, yesterday, Dickie said to me... Gee, Ma never fusses about my overalls now, because Dust does them so easy. Gosh, getting dirty's no fun anymore. Well, Dickie, Ma's so thankful to have a new kind of soap like Does that... Well, she just doesn't feel like scolding a fella for getting dirty. You see, Does does everything in the wash. Overalls come clean easy. Towels turn out dazzling white. Yet Does is safer for the pretty colored rayons you wash. Yes, friends, compared to other leading granulated wash day soaps, Does gives longer life to colors, yet it can't be beaten for getting towels white and grimy work clothes clean. Like Dickie says... Boy, Ma never gets mad on wash day anymore now that she's using this does. Yes, even in the toughest wash, does does everything. Be sure to listen to the next episode of The Goldbergs. Rosie is disturbed and quick to act. And the Goldbergs are disturbed, but slow to comprehend what's going on. This is Clayton Collier speaking for Procter & Gamble and saying, do as the dozens do. Let does, the new kind of soap, do everything in your wash.